Hi guys, what's up and welcome to a new mathematics video. It's me, Mr. Moustache Mathematics here, aka Mr. Stringer, bringing you a new mathematics video. Today what I want to look at is uh, a method for multiplication, what is called the uh, Chinese grid method, or also known as, I think it's Napier Bones. Um, and yeah, this is my favourite go-to method. I didn't used to do this, I personally used to use the grid method for multiplying, but this, in my opinion, is the most effective. It's not always the fastest, but it's the best way when you're looking back after you've completed uh, the multiplication to double check every single component. And the good thing with this, you only need to know up to nine times nine. That's the highest times table you need to know. You don't need to know in even up to your tens. So if we were to pick a two to look at today, if we were to go for something uh, like two, two digit numbers multiplied together, let's say um, 24 times 50, and then go sort of, let's go for seven. This is the way you'd set it up. So you start with your first number, 24, leaving a nice bit of space between, times, and then 57 below. Draw yourself a grid. What you want to do, if you've got two numbers here, you want to cut them in half. If there are three, you'd have to have three columns. If you've got two numbers on this side, so cut them in half, and got yourself a little grid. Now, corner to corner for each of these squares, and create some diagonal lines with a little bit of overhang. Same here, corner to corner, hit that square, keep going. And corner to corner, here. And now we're good to go. So in order to work out what goes in these boxes, you need to look at essentially one box at a time, like this one here. And when you work out your answer, say four times five, the tens go in this box and the units go in here. And just to demonstrate, four times five is 20. So I put the two there in the tens and the zero in the ones, 20. 4 times 7 goes in this box, which is 28. 2 times 5, which is 10. And 2 times 7 here, which is 14. So your 10s and your units. And now, how you actually operate with this box to just get your final answer is as simple as this. You look down each of the diagonals and you can add them, right? So, first diagonal, it's got 8. The next diagonal, 4 plus 2 plus 0, 6. Yes, for those who see 420, let's not laugh too much, huh? Um, and then 1 plus 0 plus 2, that's 3, and the last one, 1. And all you need to do is just read your answer around the edge here, 1,368. All right, just to double check that, 24 times 57, 1,368, as you can see around the edge there. Now let's try one, um, let's do a three digit times a two digit, something which is a little bit uneven. Let's go for uh, Let's go for 12 times uh, 3, 4, 5. So, same thing, set it up. 1, 2, a bit of space, times, and 3, 4, 5. Exactly the same thing. Get yourself a grid. Draw a line in between. In between the 3 and the 4 on the side, and in between the 4 and the 5. Now, same thing. Diagonal line. Bit of overhang. Diagonal line. Bit of overhang, diagonal line, bit of overhang, making sure you go through the corner of the squares, the diagonal line. That's just a case of working out what we need to do. Two times three is six, so there isn't any tens, so that's zero, six. Two times four is eight, so no tens, and then eight. Two times five is ten, so you've got one in the tens, zero in the ones. Now, one times three, well that's simple, anything times one is itself, three. One times four is four, and one times five is five. Now it's just a case of adding them up diagonally. So this one, zero. Next one, eight plus one is nine, plus five is 14. So you put the four here and then carry your ones into the next section. And now it's just a case of adding this next uh, diagonal line up. Six plus zero plus four is 10, plus zero is still 10, plus one is 11. So put my one there and I carry the tens of cross for the 11. Now it's a case of adding this diagonal up. Zero add three add zero add one, which is four. Last one up here is zero. You can put it there, but you don't need to. And that's just a case of reading this around the edge. And we've got 4,140. We don't actually need the zero at the front because it's just saying that we've got zero in the 10,000s column, which is actually irrelevant to this part. So it's as simple as that. Just to double check, one, two, times three, four, five. 4,140, as claimed there. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any further comments, uh, don't forget to drop them in the uh, comment section below. Section below, and uh, don't forget to like, 
and subscribe. Till next time, see ya.